here we go. Yeah, at the top of the class on a roll. Hey, and it's time to run it up. Yeah, you know. Yeah, mashed out with the pedal to the floor. Yeah, on a roll. Here we go. Here we go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Bitcoin's four-year cycle and why it's so important to understand. But before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the like, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these great videos that we upload to the channel. And if you guys are looking for some deals to sign up for Femex or KuCoin, if you're looking to trade, definitely check out frankiecandles.com and check out our deals. Let's get into it. In order to become a winning trader, it's imperative that you get comfortable with Bitcoin's market cycle and how the market responds to it every four years. Although some analysts believe that the four-year cycle is dead, factually that remains to be seen. And of course people are saying that now. We're in a bear market. <laughs> the idea of the four-year cycle is directly tied to the process of how Bitcoin is created or mined. Bitcoin runs on a proof of work consensus mechanism, which means it's created from the processing power on a miner's computer that solves highly complex mathematical equations and then the miner gets a piece of the action, AKA block rewards. It's called the four-year cycle because it's pretty close to four years, but it's actually after every 210,000 blocks are mined. The catalyst propelling the four-year cycle is the Bitcoin halving. This is where the reward for mining new Bitcoin and the amount of Bitcoin being mined gets cut in half. The total supply of Bitcoin is 21 million. So far, just over 19 million have already been mined and the last Bitcoin will be mined in 2140. The miners get a reward in Bitcoin for each block they mine. Originally, that reward was 50 Bitcoin per block, as the last halving on May 11th, 2021, 144 blocks are mined each day, and each block contains 6.25 Bitcoin. That's about 900 Bitcoin per day. Three halvings have already happened, and the next Bitcoin halving is expected to go down on March 30th, 2024. When this happens, the miner's reward per block will drop to 3.125 Bitcoin, and instead of around 900 Bitcoin being made per day, that number will fall to 450 per day. As you can see, this event slows down the production of Bitcoin being released until it matches its max supply of 21 million. The reason the Bitcoin price continues to grow over time comes down to one single word, scarcity. Typically, we tend to see a parabolic Bitcoin pump a year and a half after every Bitcoin halving. That's because there's a massive supply shock to the amount of Bitcoin being created every day. Think of it like this. If for some reason, half the amount of gasoline got taken out of circulation, what would happen to us at the pumps? It's a matter of supply and demand. And typically, when the supply of a desired thing goes down, the demand goes up and that causes the price to go through the roof. So now, let's tie in the steps of Bitcoin's four-year cycle. Where we were, where we are now, and where we could go in the future. Phase one, exponential highs. Bitcoin reaches new all-time highs as price increases significantly and quickly. The market is in a bull run and a lot of people are buying. This is where FOMO kicks in and dumb money or retail investors buy the top, pushing the price higher than anyone expected. Phase two, the correction. Bitcoin becomes overvalued and oversold, the FOMO is over, the frenzy settles, and the price begins to fall. Phase three, accumulation. There's a large drop as price hits the bottom and stabilizes. This ends the bear market. Phase four, continuation. Price is finally starting to trend upward again, thus continuing the cycle all over again. So the third Bitcoin halving took place on July 9th, 2016. That month, the price was hovering around $650. I would say at that point in time, we were in phase four because the worst was over. The price was starting to trend upwards and the cycle was starting all over again. Over the next few months, the price started to multiply and we entered phase one. Like clockwork, a year and a half after the halving, we reached exponential highs and by December 2017, we were well over $13,000 per Bitcoin. Shortly after the peak of the bull run, we entered phase two and corrected heavily to around $3,500 by January 2019. Once we hit that bottom, phase three begins and investors start to accumulate once again. By the time we reach phase four, the Bitcoin halving on May 11th, 2020 happened and the cycle starts all over again. As you can see in the chart, the white line at the bottom is when the last cycle began. 
we continued along, starting to trend upwards. And just like before, a year and a half after the halving, Bitcoin went parabolic. Although we had a double top, there were more economic factors that took place during this bull run than the last one. Inflation, money printing, things like that. As you can see, we are obviously still in phase two, the correction. At this point in time, once we officially hit the bottom, we will be on to phase three and start running up the hill once again. Considering the Fed is still hiking the interest rates five more times this year, it's hard to tell when we will officially hit a bottom. And there will be oversold relief rallies on the way down. This is when everyone thinks we hit the bottom, but we really didn't. This is also known as a bull trap. These things take a little while to play out, and it's important to stay patient through these turbulent times. As I said before, the next Bitcoin halving is expected to go down on March 30th, 2024. So Bitcoin is expected to go parabolic by September or November of 2025. Until that doesn't happen, the idea of the four-year cycle is still in play. It's played out pretty perfectly after every cycle so far, and the last cycle and this one honored it to a T. Despite speculation and maybe diminishing returns, no one can see the future and no one can deny a pattern. Let's hope we hit the bottom sooner than later because the bear market blues are bringing the bull vibes down. When we do hit a bottom, I'll do my best to be the first person to let you guys know. Until then, that's all I got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Frankie Candles out. Here we go. At the top of the class on a roll And it's time to run it up, yeah you know Maxed out, put the pedal to the floor Ay, On a roll, here we go, here we go Yeah we winning by a landslide Never see me coming, I'm a landmine Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command like Yeah, you 